Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we are getting into the one, the only, Makers State Profile number 46. Makers Mark 46 is one of my favorite budget Makers Mark. Actually, it's my only liked budget Makers Mark, other than like the cash ring stuff, but I think that's not even considered budget. This is one of my favorite Makers Mark, regardless. I'm a big fan of this. This is the Makers Mark juice, but they finish it in some extra staves. I know the 46 profile, I believe it's 10 virgin French oak staves that they finish the Makers Mark in. It's non-age stated and it is proof down to 94 proof. I know the cash rings are usually around 110, so I'm assuming they come out around 110 and they're proof down to that. But this is a phenomenal product and we're here to actually taste it, review it, and score it. And in case you haven't noticed, uh, I'm a kind of a big fan of this. I used to hate Maker's Mark and then I started drinking the State Profile finishing ones and I'm a big fan of them now. So without further ado, let's get into the nose so I can review and score this SOB. It's soft, it's light, it's weeded. It's slightly oaky, caramel vanillas. Ooh, it definitely like it's it's like a French vanilla ice cream in there. Little bit of like a cherry note. Ooh, it kind of reminds me of like a strawberry shortcake covered in like French vanilla ice cream with a side of like oak. It's very bready, like so much vanilla cake. A little bit of like a tobacco note, but like a very subdued light tobacco note. You could definitely tell it is for sure weeded though. There's a slightly like sour citrus note, kind of like a grapefruit in there. Let's go ahead and get on the palate. Slightly nutty on the palate, but again, very luscious, caramel, whipped marshmallows, cherries, strawberries, slight nuttiness, slight oakiness. It's that strawberry shortcake just covered in so much vanilla ice cream. It's bready. There's a nice vanilla custard note, some strawberries in there. There's a slight tinge of like a tobacco nutty oakiness there on the finish. It kind of finishes into like a creamy vanilla tobacco note, but very good. Let's go ahead and get on a second sip. Yup, that it's that strawberry shortcake covered in vanilla, finishing into like a nutty vanilla tobacco. Very, very solid. This is a $30 bottle of whiskey. Finish is amazing. Uh, it, it goes for a moderately long time, especially for something that's 96 proof and $30. The most impressive thing about this bottle is the viscosity and the mouthfeel. It's very luscious and viscous. I've had bottles literally triple the price of this bottle that didn't have this good of a mouthfeel. This is very, it's thick, it's dense. It's so much of that strawberry shortcake, so much vanilla ice cream, so much breadiness, a little bit like the stringent notes that like nutty, the oaky, the tobacco notes, those are kind of in the background and so much just luscious caramel, vanilla, whipped cream with like cherries and strawberries and like cakiness. It's just vanilla cake with cherries and strawberries. Fantastic bottle. And I know I might be a little biased with this one because I'm a big fan of this bottle. And it's just because like I had a fight to get there. So I feel like this is a hard earned bottle. I used to hate Maker's Mark and then I got into this bottle and I was like, damn, that's not Maker's Mark. That's actually quality whiskey, which I still don't like a lot of the Maker's Mark offering, but this 46 and the state profilings, I've been a pretty big fan of recently. So overall, with that impressive mouthfeel, the solid palette, this only being $30, I think it's a solid A minus whiskey. And again, I know I'm slightly biased because I am a big fan of this whiskey, but I do think it's an amazing whiskey. If you're someone who's in a lighter, softer flavor profile, this is definitely a solid pickup for you. I think it's a fantastic whiskey, light flavor profile. 
but also light on the bank account. Like this is really well appropriately priced and you're getting something that's kind of interesting because it's that light, soft, weeded flavor profile, but it also brings that like nice extra oakiness from that French oak stave finishing. Overall, a fantastic whiskey. I strongly encourage you to go pick it up, but that's going to be a wrap for this video. As always, please do us a favor, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you guys thought about this video. Let us know what you guys thought about our review of this bottle. I know I'm kind of a fanboy of it and Alex even worse of a fanboy. So there wasn't really a good way to review this without fanboying, but it is what it is. Also check out the Instagram, Facebook, and the Patreon. We appreciate you guys so much for your support. The link for the Patreon is down there below. Cheers. We'll see you later.